actually going to be nice and cool, cool. Yes. this mm. weekend. It does heat up by next week, right. and certainly by Labor Day it'll probably be hot, that's for sure. But yeah, we're awesome. going to get a break right there and yeah. possibly go for another record. And you know, I'm glad I have a red tie. I'm going to put it on in between <laughs> because you two are in red. You know, I feel out of place in blue. So yeah, okay. there you go. Record lows. That's what we're talking about. We had one this morning. We'll have another one tomorrow morning as we get up to the middle 50s. But then rain and thunderstorms roll through. And that's something we're going to monitor even into early next week. Not all day affairs, but we want to give you that first alert out there. Current conditions. We have a lot of sunshine out there. Very few clouds until you get down to a Garnett at 68, 70 for Kansas City, 73 for Trenton. All of these are below normal for August, so it does not feel like you would normally expect this time of year. Next few hours or so at 6 o'clock will be down to 74, by 8 p.m. 72, and by 10 o'clock 66 degrees. As mentioned, a little unseasonably chilly for this time of year. And going for that record, 57 is what we're projecting by tomorrow morning. I think the old record's 58, set back in the early 2000s. 53 degrees will be the morning start in Trenton, 54 degrees in Maryville. Atchison also pretty cool at 56 and down toward Clinton, 58 degrees to begin the day. Let's look at the nine day forecast together and you'll see 77 as the high temperature that we're going for, but the morning starts at 57 and the rest of it looks like this near 60 at six in the morning by 10 o'clock will be at 50 or 68 and then by the afternoon hours up to 77 degrees with a mixture of sun and clouds and a north to northwest wind at about 10 miles an hour. So that's a refreshing breeze that continues. Then I mentioned chances of rain that will be moving through. Look at Sunday. That'll be toward the tail end of the day. So the bulk of your weekend looking dry all day tomorrow, most of Sunday. Then on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and even into Thursday, they're going to be a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. The first round should end on early Monday before the second one picks up on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. It's a slow moving system. It also is going to make those temperatures rise up. So that's what Darissa was talking about. By next week, we get back into these seasonal norms, 80s to near 90 degrees. and That's going to continue even into early next week. The normal high temperature is about 88. But we still have to talk about the possibility of rain and thunderstorms. Once again, as you saw Sunday through Thursday, most likely the peak will be on Monday morning and then no severe weather is expected from that. So that's a good sign there. But as far as the temperatures are concerned, enjoy the cool stuff before the pendulum swings back the other direction. But it's about normal, so it doesn't look like the hundreds once again, but it does look like it's going to have in sync with the thermometer and the calendar by that time next week.